actually wanted to talk um, COVID because I feel like there's a lot of friends that we have and people we know that have had quite the struggle with being married. I'm talking about you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, it's hard to be married and have differing opinions. Like the world has lots of opinions about COVID. Mm -hmm. And we have our own opinions about COVID. It sucks. That we have our own opinions about COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say you are more conservative about it. For sure. Yeah. So, like, your take is what? Once, uh... We're having one, beer also, by one, the way. Yeah. Once there's no new cases for a month, then I will be comfortable with going back to life as normal. Like, no new cases in that, like, they don't have anyone that has been tested positive? Right. For at least a month. And what does that mean, like, life as normal for you? Well, back to, like, going to the store, kids going to school. But we go to the store. No, well, I mean, no masks. You know, just life is what it was in March or February. Yeah. That's my it's take on it. Right. No, I, yeah, I agree. I just kind of live day to day because I don't even know. And it's really hard with, like, what is that? Why did you laugh? <laughs> Every day is day to day. <laughs> um, the other thing is kids. So when you have kids, that is really rough. Like playing in the neighborhood or... That six, has been hard. Yeah. No matter how many times you tell them six feet, six feet. As soon as you turn around and look back at them, they're about that close to each other. Because they have the kids. Right. And that's the other thing, too, is I feel like I err maybe more on this. And I think women probably in general do err more on the side of, like, making sure that the kids are emotionally fed. Yeah, and that is important. I am very much about the physical, making sure they're keeping distance and physically safe. Um, but you are m much more concerned about their mental well-being and, and the social aspect of being in the house all the time. And that's a very good, I think, a very good balance. Because Joe doesn't care if they're crazy. Right. Yeah, look so. up here. See that? Oh. That's hey. where you look. Hi. That's the people. Oh, hey, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> if you look down, it's like a bad Zoom meeting. Because everybody's always like looking at the, I don't know what they're looking at, other people. It's, it's bad out there, <laughs> guys. Yeah, it's been challenging with like, do we go to birthday parties? Do we go to see our family? Do we let our family here? Do we? No, to all of it. We tried. We tried having a birthday for our daughter. We had very specific rules. Yeah, that was back in June. They weren't followed. And, and like to no one's. Right. It was you nobody. Know, it was nobody's fault. It's just, it's just, just human nature. Which I yeah. was also on board on that boat, just riding sinking ship. I took the Titanic. Yes. But I'm a people person, so I'm very touchy-feely, and I like to be, a, like, when people are in, like, I could be isolated. I don't have to be. <laughs> I don't really need to be around people all the time, but when I am, Out. girl be cray. Feeling, hugging. Get up Ow. in everybody's grill. <laughs> Because I love people, and when they were here, and then I want to host them, and I want to take care of them, and make everyone comfortable, and then it rained. We were outside, and it rained, and everybody had to oh, yeah. cram we in the garage. <laughs> we had to get everybody Not in the garage. Mm -hmm. Not six feet. Fun. Like, oh, I can't have my family in my house. Because I like that. That's like one of my favorite things. We live in the house we live in because we want to have people in it. I... <laughs> That breath? I'm not saying. That is rude. Okay, if you fart, I will definitely make it known. <laughs> okay. Everybody's gonna know. Fair. That is rude. Mm. Nothing else to say. <laughs> First date. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I just feel like um, it was important to talk about the fact that everybody is struggling. Me. Good. I called that bug. <laughs> and I was like, come in and say, talking about my breath. Uh, it's just important to be real about marriage because it's already hard and then I feel like the world is separated with COVID and then like even we are divided. I mean we stand together. I will always stand
stand with you as our leader on what you feel is comfortable. And I appreciate that. But at the same time... I'm bored, though. Uh, <laughs> she will also uh, bend over backwards to make sure everyone else has what they need, um, which can be a problem if you're not taking time for yourself. Very important um, to make time any way you can. Which is um, even harder in COVID. Right, Because exactly. there is no I time. Mean, that's the whole, that's the whole, yeah, thing. That's it. Or I space. Mean, right. Um, we have a daughter that is glued to her hip. And um, as soon Stay as... Stay down! <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to her like that. As soon as she's up, she's there yeah. until she goes to bed. And um, so, yeah, it's just very important to get, make sure you're getting what you need. Uh, all the moms out there, um, because I, I can't even imagine how much stress couples too like these are our yeah. dates this is what it looks like or trip to costco yeah or home depot we go pick up prescriptions and now we don't even do that because we have, express we have yeah <laughs> they get delivered so you know, look up here how much I, how much you stress gotta pretend and, you're talking how much <laughs> stress and, and pressure you guys are on Hello, every Zoom meeting. Hi, can you see me now? I don't work on a computer or anything either. Oh yeah. I, I do this all day. <laughs> well, it's not going well for oh, you yeah, if you're well. looking at very weird spaces besides where you're supposed to be. And ordering things online though, that can mm. be kind of troubling too. Yeah. I mean, it's, but it's, right, for the budget. It's I don't, fun when they I don't come. manage our money. It's fun when they come, but it's not fun when you gotta pay for them. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, you left me wide open for that one. And she said that too. Oh, there she blows. I don't know. Any other words of wisdom that you have for couples in COVID? Um, lock your doors. Brush to your, your teeth. To your bedroom. <laughs> Don't let that's the kids true. in. No. Yeah, that's the other thing. Our daughter likes to come in at like four. Mm -hmm. and she's a terrible sleeper. She grinds her teeth. She, I'm sorry if you watch this later on down the road because it's just true. Maybe and, it'll change. And like 4.30 in the morning is like our, our special time. Yeah, it's true. That's all the wisdom we have for today. <clears throat> if you need any other support or have any other questions about our marriage or what we're doing at 4 a.m., no, no. <laughs> put in the comments. <laughs> put in the comments below. What we're doing at 4 a.m. Or if you have any advice, because you know we don't have a clue of what we're doing, we're making it up as we go. So if yeah, if you have uh, some important advice for us and anything that we mentioned or beyond, if you just look at our faces and think of something leave it in the comments but don't be mean we don't want any like no we don't want any trolls he will cut you